Allen. My Dairy Goods Milk has been used to save the lives of baby puppies, baby kittens, baby calves, and of course, baby goats. Hello, my name is Sully Schaefer. I'm a junior member of the Town & Country 4-H Club. Today, I'm going to be talking about mastitis and dairy goats. First, we need to talk about what mastitis even is. Mastitis is a disease in the udder that causes inf inflammation and infection. It can also cause lower milk production and total loss of the udder. That's crazy, isn't it? Today, I'm going to be talking about the causes, symptoms, treatment, and prevention of mastitis. Now we're going to be talking about the causes of mastitis. The causes of mastitis, one of the causes of mastitis is stress to the udder. For example, milking machines and over or under milking is a huge important part when it comes to stress of the udder. Next are bacteria, bacteria or viruses. Bacteria or viruses can cause infected mammary glands. You need to make sure that your milking machine is very, very clean. And you also need to make sure that you wash your hands before hand milking. Next, we're going to talk about physical injury. You need to make sure that your kidding conditions are impeccable. You need to make sure that you have good exposure to other goats. And you need to make sure that you can prevent all of the, hopefully prevent all of the accidents that happen in your barn. Next, we're going to talk about symptoms of mastitis. There's a lot of symptoms in mastitis, and there's two that I think are what I've had goats, I have had mastitis in my goats before, and two that were very apparent were hot udder and hard udder. But also there's painful udder, lower milk production, lameness to affected side, does not allowing babies to nurse, and babies can receive, not receive the milk they need and possibly die. Now we're going to talk about treatment for mastitis. You need to contact your veterinarian right away when you see those symptoms of mastitis. Now, there, one of the things about mastitis is treatment given directly into the teeth. This is an infusion needle, and this would usually have a medication in it, and this is the teeth. And what you would do is you would take the teeth and you would in, direct it into the open part of the udder, and you would put all of the medication into the udder, just like that. Some other things for treatment are met medications under the skin, warm compresses like cloth to the udder, and massaging the udder. Last is prevention. We need to always keep your milking machines clean, very, very clean. Wash your hands before and after dealing with the udder. Clean udder before and after, and always milk out. These are my resources. Are there any questions? How have you grown in your project work through learning about this presentation? I've grown in my project work because I've had mastitis in my herd before, and I knew none of this stuff before, and I never would have known that this was even a thing if I hadn't had it. And I think now that knowing all these causes, symptoms, treatment, prevention, knowing that will help me like not have it in my herd anymore. What were you most surprised about? In I this? was I was most surprised about how the milking milking machines are a huge important factor into what mastitis how mastitis happens. And I personally don't use my milking machines just because that I don't want my goats to have mastitis, of course. How will you use this in your day-to-day -day life? I will use this in my day-to-day -day life because I have been, I have, I had no idea that there was even a thing called udder cleaner. Like, what? And I have been using this and I, my goats haven't gotten mastitis and my goats have new baby, new babies and I think this is really helping. Thank you.